Good morning. Um, a very warm welcome to all of you who have joined us this morning. My name is Lisa Deisel. I'm from the UNISA Directorate for Counseling and Career Development. Um, I'm just welcoming my colleagues also. I've got with me this morning Mr. Vusmusi Benyani. Um, Vusmusi, if you can just introduce yourself. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, our um, same students. My name is Vusi Penyane. I'm a senior student counselor in Pretoria. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Musi. And um, we've also got uh, Dr. Chibiwa Kurisang with us. So if she could also just introduce herself. OK, it seems like um, she will still be joining us. Um, OK, so again, a very warm welcome. I'm just going to share our presentation with you. Um, as I said, um, I am Lisa Dazel and I'm from the UNISA Directorate for Counseling and Career Development. And this morning, um, what we wish to share with you um, is more information about the different um, support services that we offer to students. Um, I'm just going to um, give you an overview of what we are going to share. And then once I've done that, my colleague, um, Mr. Bignani, will then um, start with the presentation. OK, so what we are covering today is um, about the Directorate Council and Career Development. So we will be sharing with you all the different kinds of support services that we offer. We'll also be talking about getting started with your studies. So looking around, how do you commit to your studies? How are you spending your time? And also share some resources with you in terms of scheduling your year and provide you with some example time plans. Then we'll also be talking about mental health and study success, graduateness, as well as sharing online resources. And then of course, very importantly, how you get a hold of a student counsellor. So just some housekeeping um, in the introduction, you noticed, um, you know, just switch off your mics and your cameras. We will open the chat during the presentation so that you can post any questions. Please do not share any private information, for example, your student number, cell number on the chat. But you're welcome to share any questions you have that you would like us to answer during the session. And with that, um, Mr. Pignani, please um, go ahead and start with counselling and career development support. <clears throat> said good morning to everyone, and um, I want to share with you what we offer at um, counselling and career development. Directorate for counselling and career development, and um, at, at UNISA. So that could be in the regions or in your provinces where you are, or could be in Pretoria. So the first thing that I want to mention or to say is that if you are a UNISA student, if you are registered a UNISA student, the services that we offer ourselves is confidential and free for you. So the free support that is given by the university to you. So we are here to assist you and to help you. And we do these services for especially prospective students, so students who want to join UNISA, the registered students, those who are already like you are registered at UNISA and we also, also, also offer it for exit uh, level students, students who are completing their qualification. It could be a four year qualification, it could be a three year qualification, it could be a, a dog, it could be um, a honors or a masters, but also offer those. I'll talk a little bit later about those things, but let's return back to you. What can we do? We offer 
uh, we offer to you as a registered student at UNISA. So we're looking at helping you or supporting you in planning and managing your career development. Remember that you have a career that you are actually following and you want to follow. And our and our work is to support you, is to help you to plan properly and to manage that career development. Sometimes we also help you by choosing a qualification that will prepare you for your career opportunities. For example, some of you have chosen a particular qualification and maybe you're not really happy with the choice or maybe this was a choice that was available or this was a choice that was um you could actually take because of your results so we help you then to to choose a proper qualification and have a talk with you so that you can choose a qualification that will prepare you for the future we also help you to manage your studies at UNISA. Okay, this is academic performance. It's very important that we are here at UNISA. I'll talk a little bit about workshops that are coming, but how do you manage your studies? You, it's your first time at UNISA. Most of you, I assume, first time at UNISA and o, o e um, o d e l University. And you are part of us now. And some of you are working, some of you are not working. Okay, but then how do you manage your studies? Because the important thing here is not to come and get a registered at UNISA and then the exams comes or the assignments comes, you are not able to perform. And we really want to assist you so that you can academically perform and um, uh, and succeed in your career, succeed in your in your dreams, so that at the end you achieve your vision, you achieve your dream. Okay, and and also deal with a lot of challenges. Also assist you because then if you are a student, you have a lot of challenges that you are facing, and these challenges are negatively affecting your studies. Okay, uh, as not just these are challenges that you can deal with them. Some of them are negatively affecting your performance in your in your in your in your, in your studies. For example. Okay, there's this. For example, we're talking about anxiety. Some people have stress. Okay, um, uh, they'll come talk about a lack of support. They'll talk about marital issues or um, relationship issues. They'll talk about a, a lot of other stuff that are happening at home. Um, you know, grieving. You know, some person who was very close to you has passed on, and maybe that person was supporting you, and you don't know how to continue. Some people are suicidal. You know, they're thinking every day, "Why am I leaving? You know, what's the purpose of me?" continuing to live you know and and we come in and saying we want to support you because those negative thoughts those way of thinking are affecting the way you are studying and now you are not able to perform you're not able to 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 to, to do well in your studies because of these negative thoughts and we are here to 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 help you and lastly for those students who are you know at the verge of graduating or have graduated and we assist you and we assist, assist you, you you with a, a number of things for example some students don't know that you can book a mock interview with a student counselor okay either in person or in online but you uh, you you have a, a work we have um, an interview that is you know is ready and you want and you have been invited to that interview and before you go to the interview consult us talk to us and saying guys it's my first time going to interview or i have been going for interviews but then i'm not being called i don't know why so we can actually book and an, a mock interview with you we also with the graduate nurse with employ pt skills we talk about looking at your cvs and i look at twitter i look at facebook i look at other things people um advertising their services you know you can contact me and i can work on your cv revamp your cv and you pay me 200 rand and this service for you as a unisa student is available for you you just have to you know we have workshops that we will talk about but also you can make an appointment you know and we look at your cv we assist you with your cv so that when you because the cv is there to talk on your behalf you are not there so when you send your cv your cv can actually speak on your behalf have to prospective um, uh, employees. So these are some of the stuff that we do for you as a registered 
student, you know, and either in a funnel, those who are in a funnel um, year, or you as you are starting. Next slide, please. So we have different workshops that we offer, and most of these workshops we offer them online and in person. OK, throughout the year, these workshops are offered at um, in the central office, are offered in all the regions or in all the provinces where there's UNISA's offices. And you can actually, um, we'll send emails to you for this workshop to invite you for this workshop. So please make time if you can't make time, but please register so that you can get the recording and listen to recordings afterwards. But also it's very important that you go to the UNISA web uh, to UNISA website and go to my UNISA. And after my UNISA, you see there's a notice there. And, and my colleague has already showed you um, notice there that we will always advertise this other events you will see will advertise these workshops these are the workshops that are coming are coming in um it could be employability workshop maybe study skills maybe the work it could be um uh, time management it could be adjustment to unisa but check the event so go to my unisa website go to my unisa website and go to my unisa and go under notices or under events you will see what we um we, we will offer and when is the workshop and how to join that workshop and all the stuff and the regions will be sending emails so check your emails please 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 and the only thing if you leave this workshop and the only thing that i want you to understand is that check your emails every day because communications come through that and you might miss a lot of stuff because you don't check your emails please check your emails because the invitation will be coming and through there so some of the workshops that we offer will be um, for example uh, adjustment to odl adjustment to unisa environment and the second one will be offer the study skills okay how do you study at unisa and how do you manage your time and time management and the other one that we normally offer will be a cv um a cv and an interview um workshop so those workshops that are normally offered throughout the year but there are also a number of other workshops that we touch on that i won't really talk about here it could be but a lot of them that um you will get invitation from 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 us next slide please okay so let's say you want counseling so we offer counseling um counseling uh, from us can be offered in different we have different modes of offering um um counseling so this could be a face-to-face -face contact so you could go to any unisa office no, any unisa office and say i want you um I, I want to see a student counselor remember there's a, a difference between a student counselor and a student advisor but i won't go to that right now but you want a student counselor Okay, so you can go to any office and say, I want to see a student counselor. In some offices, unfortunately, we don't have a student counselor there, but in most offices, you will find a student counselor. If they're not busy, like us right now online, then they will attend to you. We can also, you can also phone us telephonically. You can make a telephone call and say, hey, I want to speak to a student counselor. Or if you have um, the, the contact details, you can contact us. Or you can send us an email. We'll share the details at the end of, of the email, email address that you can use to contact us. And lastly, you can make, um, you can also contact us on, on Teams. Okay, right now I'm on Teams. And if you know, if you know my, my, my name, you can contact me on Teams or you can um, you can call or you can request to be called. Okay, it's not always that you said, some people will say, I don't have a time. Okay, so how can I call? And that people take a long time. Request us to call you back. You are a student, we can call you back. We, we, we can set a meeting with you. And if you don't have like MS Teams, you don't have data, request that like, please call me, then we will call you to have the session. And that's it. We can also conduct our counselors at additional offices to make an appointment for counseling in person or, um, or, or, or online. 
And at the, at the end, we'll share our details. How do we get contact with us? How can you make this appointment? Because it's very important. Said make an appointment, but where do you find the details to make this appointment? How do we contact us? If then I want to send an email, who do I contact? How do I contact that person? You know, so we'll share, send those details to us. And then at the end, also you can see our website. We have a lot of um, information. We'll show you a little bit later our website, how it works, and the uh, our you our um, YouTube channel where you find a lot of recording all this uh, information that you're talking about right now will also be recorded and we'll put on our you our YouTube channel and we will help you to see how do we get how do we get to a YouTube channel and if you have any frustration any anything please contact us let me make an example about myself recently I was speaking to my colleague. You know, then we were speaking about something unrelated to work, and then uh, something else personal that was happening to me, and which I could solve, but I, you know, I was not able to solve it. And my colleague, who's I guess it was a um, student counselor, said to me, "But this is you can just go upstairs and solve it." And I never thought about that. You know, I'm at UNISA, and I was focusing in helping other people, but actually, when I needed help, I forgot about it. And she just said to me. Hey, you can just go upstairs and ask this information and they'll give it to you. So this is how we work. We, 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 we something that you are not aware of, we will then say to you, oh, maybe you're not aware of this. This could happen or that could happen. And then it's up to you to take it up from there. So um, I hope that you will then use us. Please conduct us. Please uh, get hold of us. We will I re definitely assist you. But if you don't get hold of us, we don't know whether you need help or not. But if you need us, we will be there. Thank you. Thank you, um, Mr. Pignani. So um, our next session, um, which is a section, sorry, which is going to share some information with you um, in our experience of working with students. Uh, what are some of the things that you can start doing um, to really put yourself ahead, not just in terms of the semester, but in fact, for your whole UNISA career. So the first thing um, that you could think about is as you were um, deciding what to study and you are now registered or you waiting for your registration to be finalized, you need to take some time to think about how you will commit to your study process. And also, what are the things that you need to put in place to focus on your studies? So some of the questions um, that may help you to reflect um, and it will actually be very useful for you to type these or write them down um, anywhere where you can save the answers to these reflection questions so that you can periodically refer back to them and also um, help you to reflect you know how far you've come over a couple of months over a year over three years and so forth. So some of the questions that you could think about, where are you now in terms of your career, your studies or your personal circumstances? So really thinking about as you are embarking on your study journey, where are you right now? What do you want? What, you, what would you like to achieve by completing your qualification? So it's very important for you to think about what your goals are. And um, linked to that would be what are the outcomes? What are you hoping for once you have completed your qualification? How would your life be different? <laughs> then once you've identified the goals or where it is that you are going, think about what do you have to do to get there? So what are the things that you need to put in place, the things that you need to commit to in order to achieve your goals? So for example, if your goal is to complete your degree or your diploma over the next three or four or five years, what are the things that you need to put in place? For example, I need to study at least 20, 30, 40 hours a week in order to achieve my goal. Then it's also important to remember that you come to this situation to you studying at UNISA already with resources that you might have in place. So what do you already have in place that could help you to succeed with your studies? 
So some of the things could be, for example, support from your employer, from your family. It could be that you already have a set up study space. So really appreciate the things that you already have in place to help you succeed. And then, of course, it's also important to think about what are the things that you do not have in place, um, but that you may hear about this week um, that you would want to um, connect to support, for example, at UNISA to help you succeed with your studies. Then we also um, recommend that you write down a personal success statement where you commit to completing your academic year successfully. So an example of that would be, it does not matter what happens and how I feel, I will get through this semester or this year because, and then you complete the sentence. So this is very important that you have a method of reflection throughout your studies and also something to refer back to that if, for example, a semester or year did not work out as you had planned, um, you could go back to this commitment statement and see what it is that you wrote down and what you need to do differently so that the outcome could be different. Then planning your studies is quite important. So reflecting on your study plan which qualification or qualifications do you plan on completing? And what we mean by that is overall, for example, you might have started now with a higher certificate, but you've already got a plan that the next step would be a BA degree, then an honours degree, then a master's degree. So really take time to think about over the next number of years, these are the qualifications that I've planned to complete. Then also very importantly, take time to understand the curriculum for your qualification and some of the information that would be important for you to determine what is the minimum and the maximum duration for your qualification. So just to give an example, if you are registered for a higher certificate, the minimum duration would be one year and the maximum duration would be three years. How many credits do you need to pass each year? So do you understand how many credits in total there is for the qualification that you are registered for? And do you understand how many credits you have to pass each year in order to complete your qualification? Then getting down more to details is, do you have an understanding of the modules that you need to complete your qualification? Um, but also the pre and the co-requisites. So for example, if you look at all the modules that you have to complete for your diploma or degree, have you understood that in order to do certain, let's say second level modules, these are the first level modules that you first have to complete before you can start with some of the modules on second level. <clears throat> Sorry, and then it's also important um, in the case now of a diploma or degree to go and take a look at what are my major subjects. So what are the subjects that I'm going to start with in my first year, but that will continue throughout the rest of my qualification. Compile a document where you then plan your modules over the number of years you wish to complete your qualification. Remember, even if the minimum <clears throat> Excuse me. Even if the minimum duration for qualification is, let's say, three years, you don't have to complete the qualification over three years. You could, for example, depending on your circumstances, plan to complete your qualification over four or five years. So having a document where you've got your plan for the next three, four, five years is also an important part of this planning your studies process. And then very importantly, go and also take a look at the next qualification that you wish to complete. So understand the admission requirements for this next qualification. So if, for example, you are now registered for a BCom degree and your thinking is that you would want to include um, a honours degree in your future, what is it that you need to include in your undergrad degree to get to the honours degree that you are interested in? So these are just some of the points that you can put together 
to really help you plan your studies over the next specific number of years. Remember, plans can also change, but it's important to have this kind of baseline so that each year you could then reevaluate, or even each semester you reevaluate your plan for your studies. All of this information is available on the UNISA registration website, so the rules for your qualification is what you will find under the registration information. Then the next step that we uh, want to talk about is how you are currently spending your time. So a very big part of um, UNISA studies is that as you're planning how to get through the study material that you need to um, learn for the assignments and then also for the exams or to complete a portfolio, you need to take a look at how are you currently spending your time. So if you look at your average week at the moment, so I'm just going to go over to the next slide. There's a list of possible activities that may already be part of your daily life or weekly life. So if you want to really go and check how you are currently spending your time, even for a week long, make a list of all the different activities. How many hours are you spending on that? Um, so that by the end of the week, you've got a fair idea of the areas where you could renegotiate that you spend less time, or what are some of the areas that you could prioritize? For example, you would need to prioritize studying, reading and researching for your studies. So how can you reduce the number of hours that you spent on other activities? Is there support that you need to negotiate? Are there some activities that you need to think about whether they are important at this stage as you are embarking on your study journey. So having this idea of how many hours you spend in a week on different activities, you might be surprised um, that you spend a lot more time on activities that are at this stage not contributing directly to your study success. You might also find that you are maybe the kind of person or how your schedule works is that it would be better for you to study early in the morning or study late at night. Although all of us wish that we had more time, the reality is that all of us have the equal number of hours in a day or in a week, in a year. So the important thing to think about is how you spend